window on the workings of justice? Or a voyeur's view of personal tragedy? Cameras in the courtroom. Is it a natural? Or a no-no? Tune in, pick sides. Or better still, draw swords like we do. Good morning, Pine Valley. Tomorrow at 9. Cut. That was great. He yeah. does really deliver a punch. We're talking Tracy and Hepburn. No, I think more like Ollie and Fraser. Or Kong and Godzilla. Whatever, it works. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Listen, Brooke, I can only speak for myself, but I sure uh, enjoy this a lot more even than a bracing game of squash. I prefer hardballed squash. Yes, like I said. I'll see you next time. Look, 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 look. Okay, we don't agree on everything. At least we agree on that. Controversy's the stuff of life, right? Well, actually, I was thinking more along the lines of friendship being the stuff of life. What does friendship have to do with us? Well, we're both friends of Trevor's. We both care about Trevor. We Fine, like Jack. I'm glad you care about Trevor. I care about him, too. I also care about the truth. Great. Well, happy digging. I hope you find the truth. I always do. I may not like it once I've found it, but I always find it in the end. I have got some new grist for the Merrick, Merrick Mill. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, well, no point in wasting time. Well, hey, you're a man after my own heart. <laughs> Mine, too. Ah, uh, don't let us keep you. Oh, so I'm excused, I see. Well, if Madam should need anything, Madam has only to ring. We'll see you two later. Yeah. So what did you get? I did a scan on Merrick's major credit cards. Well, obviously he's not in arrears, right? Hmm, talk about a frequent flyer to Europe. Vienna, Vienna, Vienna. And always to the same place, the Lockmar Hotel, which is a skip and a jump from the Collenberg Hospital. Any other re explanations for it? No relatives, no close personal friends we can identify, no current business liaisons, no leisure time passions. Hey, you call it. Where do you want to go from here? I know where I'm going. Back to Wild Wind to be the world's most dedicated security person. I'm going to secure every <laughs> nook and cranny. <laughs> well, I'm going to reach out and touch someone in Vienna. Well, ready to query Dr. Zim? No, I mean, not yet. I just need to find out if he's still the head of the Kallenberg Hospital. I mean, that place is a major missing piece in this wild wind puzzle, right? Dimitri? Sir, listen, I'm sorry to barge in, but Trevor's service left this number. I just thought... Uh, yes, he's it. here. Come on oh, in. So I see. Thanks. Hi, Jack. Come on in. Come on in. see you. Good to you, too. Trevor, look, I'm sorry about Brooke, but, well, you know her. Once she sniffs out a story, she goes from a dead stop to a wild tear, and then she starts to gain momentum. So. Brooke's a reporter. That's what she does. Did she send you? No, not at all. Then how come you're acting like a parole officer? Trevor, it's not that. I'm just trying to make sure. You're just trying to check up on me, see if she uh, crashed into any of my sensitive zones. Well, hurt me tender. It's okay. Relax. Everything's all right. I'm glad to hear that. And as far as Brooke flying into a wild tear, you know, it doesn't take extra enzymes to know that Merrick is the king of weird. So now you believe Brooke's theory? What, that his wife is in a coma? No. But I would believe this guy could have anything bizarro. He could have a live brain in a fish tank connected to electrodes. I wouldn't put it past him. Neither would I. Well, neither would I, for that matter. And if you can't uh, keep Brooke from uh, chasing down Merrick, I suggest you buy her a very sharp spear, a necklace of garlic, and a ring full of Belladonna. She's on her way to hell. What are you going to do? Well, I thought I'd try to check out the weather forecast in hell. Oh, well, 
I guess by now you and somebody at that hospital are serious best friends. No. Did you ever try to extract information from an evasive bureaucrat long distance in German? Can't say that I have. It's a lot of fun. Well, did you find out anything? Well, I didn't find out if Dr. Zent is a coma specialist, but I did find out he's the principal doctor at Kallenberg Krachenhaus. All right. And means, I would say, that he's extremely busy, right? Well, it stands to reason. So why, if Angelique Merrick died years ago, why would this busy, busy doctor still be faxing monographs to Dimitri Merrick? Yeah. And why is Merrick so interested in the latest research in coma victims? Well, one thing is for sure, I'm not going to get any information by calling on the phone. <laughs> yeah, but they're not going to invite you to take a tour of the place. I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. Why? What happens tomorrow? I'm going to take the first flight out to Vienna. Well, surprise, surprise, kids. Turns out this Dr. Zenf is a coma specialist. Not only that, but he's renowned in his field. Which makes sense. I mean, Dimitri certainly wouldn't use some second stringer, now, would he? This is where I went screaming out into the streets. Oh, wait, I have a better idea. Yeah, what? Drug therapy, shock therapy, move to Antarctica therapy? Uh, ham and grilled cheese therapy. Uh, black forest ham and brie? Sounds better than a straitjacket. Well, good. Come on. I'm gonna go to the deli. We'll see you later. That's right. See you, sir. Well, I certainly didn't mean to do that. Oh, you'll be all right. It's just frustrated. Yeah, and I just feel foolish. I'll tell you what, an hour ago, when Brooke espoused this theory to me, I, I thought it was a wild goose chase, but now I gotta tell you, we're starting to see these clues pile up. Starting to ignite. It's more like it. Well, let's just hope it doesn't explode in Brooke's face. It's always dangerous to play with powerful men's secrets. Yes, yes I agree. And you know what Brooke has gone and done? She's gone and booked herself on the first flight out to Austria tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah, don't you think she may need some help? I think she may need some cavalry. Yeah. You're not talking about me. No, no, Jerry, listen to me. <laughs> if I so much as, as suggest this as a possibility, my going with Brooke, I can tell you what she'll say. She'll use words like, let's see, um, arrogant, conceited, condescending, egomaniacal, let's see what else, male chauvinistic, Johnny Come on, let's say all of that and even more. But may I ask you a question? Sure, why not? So what? Is anyone there? <gasps> I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. My nerves are shot, that's all. What's wrong? Mimi. I may be insane, but I swear to you, I heard music coming from that room. That one? That, that's, I know, it's Angelique's. It's right above mine. I heard footsteps. And, and then the music started. I don't hear anything. Well, it stopped as soon as I knocked, and the door is locked. Do you think this is all in my mind? No, come on, let's find out what's going on. Would you have the keys? Well, I must. Dimitri said I have a complete set, but... What's the matter? Well, I have everything. Wine cellar, attic, garden shed, but nothing for this floor. Do you require something? No, no, I was downstairs in my room and I thought, I, I heard something and I thought that my room is right downstairs. I know. But I, I Natalie just, I this was room just was... concerned because she knows that this room is no longer occupied. But it is occupied. Not in the way it sounds. Everything's gone. When I entered the room and found it stripped bare, it's a shock. But no one can take my memories. They will always be here. All I have is my memory. I'm very sorry. How this is where I used to sing to my child, brush her hair, rock her to sleep. I have to come here when it's quiet. I know this is your home now. You can feel the room if you want. No, I would never do anything like that. Never, Helga. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I. I intruded on you, and it won't happen again. You're very kind. If there's anything I can do to help, if you want to talk, or 
anything at all, Helga, please feel free to ask. Thank you. For now, I only want to be alone. Yes, of course. 